So, here we are. It is the 24th of September, 2018. We're back again. Shout out sports. Yay! I'm Paul Payne. We have... Wilson. Lou. We have a special guest star today. Kieran. Kieran. He's back from his holidays to Benidorm. George. 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 And Marcus the Barkus the Darkus. <laughs> Marcus the Darkus the Darkus. Okay, so we're going to start a bit different today mm -hmm. because people are saying we talk about football too much. So. <laughs> Here we go. What was that, Kieran? We moan. Um, too much money in the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kieran has joined, uh, spent the morning with us and he's seen us in action. And he said that we do a lot of moaning. And he said that football isn't worth all that moaning, didn't you? <laughs> I don't think he's been very impressed. Do you, are, are you a football fan, Kieran? No, I'm not. And why is the reason you're not? Because of how. Um... People will rage over it and probably cause chaos because of it. <laughs> a bit like this morning then. So we're not going to see any of this business from Kieran, are we? I don't think. But it's a, it's a, it's a decent opinion. Kieran say that people get in a rage over football, is that true? Not for every football though. No, for football. Do you ever get in a rage about football results? No. Oh, it's mine is about football to die. <laughs> This morning, I'm going to <laughs> You wouldn't be moaning about a certain MK Dons result at the weekend, would you? Which we'll talk about later. Oh, um, yeah, we will. No, because it's only one, so one is enough. It's better than losing a four. We'll carry on with that later. So, <laughs> we start, we're going to start off today with some different sports because it's been a big sporting weekend. There's been some big golf stories, some big boxing stories and some big dart stories so we're going to discuss all that as well as our football round up. So let's start. So who was fighting at the weekend? Anthony Joshua. Anthony, Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, the British heavyweight. Champion of the world! He's unified the five different heavyweight titles. He was fighting Alexander Popvetkin from Russia. That's the boss really. Yeah, it's the boxer. Um, so how did Joshua get on? He won. He won. In the seventh round. Seventh round knockout. We watched the highlights. Yeah, we did. Do we think we've got a new boxing hero in Andy Joshua? Yes. Yeah? Because mm. mm. um, Louis said you didn't know much about him, but watching his highlights, you said you're a fan now. Yeah, I am, yeah. You were very impressed? Yeah. Do you think um, Joshua's got what it takes to become an all-time great. I think he's still got he's still got to fight against other other heavyweights, really. Yeah. But I think if he gets there, then yeah, I think he will have what it takes. Joshua said that he'd like his next three fights to be in order: Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, and then Dillian White. So far, he's had 27 fights, hasn't he? 27 wins. Yeah. yeah. And 26 knockouts. Mm -hmm. And he has a lot of knockouts. Right in the jaw. Yeah. You boxing fan, Georges? Yeah. Yeah, you like a bit of boxing, don't you? Oh, you got that, yeah. Are you an Andy Joshua fan? You like him? Yeah. Yeah? You like fighting, you like a bit of boxing? I like martial arts. Martial arts? Ooh. Okay, so UFC and all that sort of stuff. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. But that is what you call a rough sport to do. Yeah. And and do the takes it do not try it at home. Yes, I do. It takes extreme effort to do martial arts with all the spinning and all the tricks and all that well stuff. Yeah, totally. That's so mad. We haven't really looked at martial arts, have we guys? But no. Mm. It's actually mm. more it's actually more formal than boxing because I use punching that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's physical as well. It's punching, is it? Okay. Um Andy Joshua looks like he's gonna reign as a champion for a little while. Yeah. And he does seem like quite a nice bloke. He didn't seem mm. to be giving it all attitude and stuff, no. did he? No. He didn't seem to be full of himself. He seemed to be quite humble and mm. gentlemanlike, which mm. we like to see from our British athletes, don't mm. we? Yeah, we do. I want to see a bad attitude. No, we don't. So let's move on then. We um, also touched on the golf. We looked at the golf highlights. Mm -hmm. Big, big win for a, a famous name, wasn't it? Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Mm -hmm. Out of the game for 
a few years, apparently bedridden at one stage, bad back, won the PGA Tour on the weekend. Just goes to show, never write anyone off. Um, Tiger Woods, um, this time last year, was 1,199th in the world rankings. Mm. And now he's back as champion. Golf fan, Louis? A little bit of it, but not as much as I used to be before. No. Oh. Right. Tiger Woods fan? Yeah, I'm more like, um, oh, what's his name? Another Bruce guy. Do you yeah. think now Tiger Woods has come back and won the PJ Tour, he's going to come back and win everything? No, he's a bit no. too old now than he used to be. Yeah, apparently his back's been the problem. That might be, that might be what's causing it. You a golf fan, Georges? Sometimes. Sometimes? And then... I'm not a fan golf. It was the Darts Champions League at the weekend. We watched a bit of that, didn't we? So, um, what? And I like Anderson beating fellow Scott. He's always on to that. Pete and Ryan. <laughs> right. yeah, we did have a few hundred and in the highlights, didn't we? Yeah, we did. But the highlight of the clip for me was um, Peter Wright's hair. We had a bit of a discussion about that, didn't mm. we? Oh, well, yeah. He yeah, yeah, like punk rocker. Like it was really has a small, small mohawk and, and painted tattoos on his head. Good look. Would you want that look, Kieran? <laughs> it's a bit too much. <laughs> especially for an, especially for an old person like him. You weren't impressed by his hair at all, were you? No. So you're not going to see Louis with a uh, blue man, you can. Nah. Nah. It's a shame. No. Nah. I think it looks like a punk rocker, mate. George, would you like a, blue, a, a punk rock haircut? <laughs> it's like he had. Show your phone. What do you think of that haircut, George? Go on, this. I'm not sure. Would you have that? No. No? It looks a bit freaky. Got, got kind of a rattlesnake going on the side there. Well, and I know I've got like him. It looks a bit freaky to me. There's some crazier haircuts. Check this one out. Oh, please. No. No, right. No, oh, man. Too, no, too, right, man. Too uh, colourful. Are we are we darts fans? No. 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 Louis, you were saying it was boring. Yeah, it's not much of a pain boy. So we're not darts fans? No. no. Not even um, when they score 180! Is it a darts fan? Yeah, like a bit of darts, a bit of a tough sport. Is, is that because you can drink beer when you play darts? Oh my god. Oh my that god. is mad. That's all you care about. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you talk about is beer, beer, beer. That's him, Tyler. <laughs> if you see him on the Guru Gecko, that's what you do, folks. That's good. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of darts. How was Benidorm? 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 Yeah, the king's face. Yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about the little matter of League Two at the weekend. Yes, I'm trying to change the subject. League Two. So, how did the MK Dons get this week? I'm not Here we go. I'll tell you. Okay, you can tell me. We, we did score a good goal, yeah. but Lincoln paid back the winners. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll probably say that. No. So what was the final score? Mm, it was a defence though. Who won to Lincoln? It was a 94th minute goal. Why didn't you jack to his shh? It doesn't matter, it's a day in the football. You can't win all the time. He's chucked in the ass. He has a point. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> not fair. <laughs> you took my shield, didn't we? Why? Was chucked in the even playing? I didn't see so. I didn't see it. Well, it wasn't as if he blamed it on chucked in the game. It's only this one. He got, he got he playing on I'll tell you what you can blame him for. Strangling John Jerry at all last time they played at MK Dons. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago. Yeah, but I'm never going to forget it. Because no you, one but you have to. John Jerry at all. You have to. He's not impressed. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> it's history. What do you mean you have to strangle or play? Because it's history. Let's forget about the history. Think about now. Yeah, let's think about now. 2 1 Lincoln. Any yeah. comments? <laughs> it was, like I said, it was 94th minute, so I guess you were unlucky. Yeah. What is this? Uh, um, Lincoln stay at the top of the table, firmly rooted now, mm -hmm. 22 points. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Let's it go. Let's it go. <laughs> Come My on. team, Northampton of the weekend. We um, short nil nil against not County. We drew nil nil, which, um, which is kind of strange, really, because you wasn't for a team like them, but actually get the result out of it, really. Well, you thought we would have beaten them. Well, we could have been at the other round, really. Well, um, I wasn't very impressed. The manager was, and a lot of the fans were. But um, I think a nil nil against the worst team in the league. At home, is nothing to shout about, but our manager was, so... He kind of helps, really. Like I said last week, I want to see the back of him. Mm. And I think... And if we're going to do this weekend, two points. Mansfield, I could see that being a draw of some, mm. some kind, I reckon. What do you think Doors going to be? I could see another nil-nil draw. Mm. Doors. Mm. Mm. Okay. Do you know what I think? <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, it's AK Dons versus Yelpool Town, the AK Dons 2, Yelpool Town 0. Saturday, AK Dons versus Channel Riders, AK Dons 4, Channel Riders 0. You, you, heard it, you heard it here first. There's Mark's predictions right there. But those scores are actually impossible because you can't get a, big, you can't get a bigger score like that. You don't think we're going to win 4-0 against Channel no. No, I think it will be a bit of a long one. What do you mean a long one? They gave us um, a hard time when they came down to six, um, six fields on PTS. Yeah. But then everyone gives us a hard time. Yeah. Because at the moment, we're not playing well. No. No, you're not. But um, mm -hmm. I'm checking my computer out every five minutes to see if Dean Austin's been sacked. And it's yet. not happened. So, I'm going to keep on praying for that one. Um, so we watched a bit of the Premiership as well. Yeah. Liverpool carrying on their unbeaten run. Yeah. Six games out of six. Six games out of six. Chelsea um, didn't manage to keep that record going, did they? No, they didn't. Draw against West Ham. I said they were nil draw. Got a draw. Um, sorry, got a draw against West Ham, which you wouldn't expect really. West Ham no. one of their underperforming teams this year, and they managed yeah. to get a draw against Chelsea. It's kind, of, it's kind of good for Liverpool, really, because they won't need that draw, really. The bank is right. They, they wanted to get a point from it. I think... The I mean, right. My gut feeling is Liverpool win the Premier League, Arsenal to finish second, Man City to finish third, Manchester United to finish fourth, Tottenham to finish fifth, Chelsea finish sixth. I'm with you on that. He's predicting the top six. So that was our uh, podcast for today. And we hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you next week for Please some more. and subscribe. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe. Like Kieran says. And done today. Russian Grand Prix this weekend. Russian Grand Prix this weekend. And those who don't know when winner, winner is for Tycho. So, should we have a big bye from Shout Out Sports? Yeah. Bye bye! bye.